Hey, and welcome to uh, another session of Ontario Math Tutorials. And today we will be doing, uh, we will be multiplying decimal numbers by whole numbers. Uh, why? Well, we uh, know that not everything in life uses only whole numbers. Um, things like prices of items or height and weight of objects, um, they use decimals, so we need to be able to multiply them by whole numbers. For example, if I went to a store and I really wanted to buy uh, five bags of chips, and that's a lot of chips, but uh, and they were two dollars and forty nine cents, we have to be able to do two times uh, five times two point four nine because it's two dollars and forty nine cents. So there are decimals numbers involved because there's cents involved. So uh, let's just get into it and we'll actually deal with the strategies. It's easier for you to see it in action and I'll just tell you the strategies as I go along. So we're going to start off by doing uh, 4 times 12.8 or 12 and 8 tenths. So step one, don't worry, um, relax. Just because there's a decimal number here, uh, it's not going to change uh, very much at all. Okay. So we'll go straight to step two, multiply the numbers and ignore the decimals Well, for now. Okay, so let's just do, treat this as 128 times 4, or 4 times 128. So I'm going to use the same strategy. So I'm going to write in 12.8 uh, at the top because it has more digits than the 4, right? I only have one 4 here. So I'm doing 12.8 times 4. Okay, I'm going to ignore this decimal. I'm just going to go 8 times 4, treat this as normal. 8 times 4, which is 32, still goes there, still goes here. Uh, 4 times 2, which is 8 plus 3, which is 11. Okay, still the same. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay. Now, I know the answer is not 512 if you're only doing 4 times 12.8. So we're just going to have to figure out and place a decimal in here. So where are we going to put it? Well, let's look at step 3. Uh, look at the multiplicands, the numbers you multiplied. So here it is, 12.8. And count up the digits to the right of the decimal point. So here's a decimal point. Okay, and how many digits are to the right of it? Well, only one. So if we're going to place a decimal point in our answer, making sure that there are the same amount of digits to the right of that decimal point. So if I put it here, it's not going to be right, right? Because how many digits are to the right? One, two. And that's not right. We just said there's only one to the right of this decimal spot. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to actually put it right here, right? And if I put it here, it makes sense because here, there's one number to the right of it, the 8. And here, or there's one digit to the right of it, the 2. So our answer is 51.2, or 51 and 2 hundredths. And we're just going to estimate to see if it makes sense. So 12.8, uh, we're going to round, and that rounds to 13. And we're going to multiply it by 4 and just practice uh, doing it again for our check here. So 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. So our estimate is 52 and our actual answer 51.2. So they're pretty equal. They're pretty similar here. So that checks out because 52 is really close to 51.2. So it's good. So let's try it again, uh, except we'll use uh, this number here, so 3.49, 3.45 times 8. And so I might do it, I'll do it uh, in a uh, little uh, box style, or uh, lattice style here, uh, 3.45 times 8, okay, just for a variety of different ways to do it. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40, 4 times 8 is 32, 3 times 8 is 24, so 0, 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, 2. So my answer is not 2,760, well that's way too big, it's only 3.45 times 8. I have to figure out where the decimal spot goes, well I take a look here, there are two numbers to the right of the decimal spot, so I'm going to put it here because that makes it two numbers to the right of this decimal spot. So our answer is 27.60. I'll double check by doing a, uh, an estimate. So 3.45 rounds to 3 times 8, and it equals 24. 24 is pretty close to 27.60, so that checks out as well. All right, so uh, just a quick tutorial. Um, give it a shot and see how you do. All right, good luck.